in. Hello. <laughs> we are currently on MSC's ship Eurybia mm -hmm. and we are on a seven night cruise to Northern Europe. Yep. And it's got four stops and we'll show you them, tell you about them later, but it's got two days at sea. Yeah, and this is day one at sea. This is day one at sea, but we're just going to show you what it's like to have a sea day on an MSC cruise. One of the days, not today, is somebody's birthday. So yeah, so birthday at sea 40, as well. 40, the big four. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so come with us as we show you around on a sea day. Let's go. Let's go. daily program for when you're at sea gives you a highlight of everything that's going on and then inside let's come turn it over it gives you the daily planner so that tells you everything that's going on during the day and where it's taking place and then on the back a few information bits and then on the back of this one it tells you the opening times of all the restaurants and the bars and the well-being and leisure and specialty dining so you get one of those every day um, the night before usually put on your bed and then you can go through it and you can decide what you want to do for the day you can also use the msc for me app which is quite good you can scroll through it you can also use that to book yourself into the theater for the shows or for the uh, restaurants Got outside sea views. Wow. Oh, they want to go up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bit choppy out there. Can you see the white peaks? And grey and misly. Well, we are in the North North Sea, are we? Yeah, we're in the North Sea. Come on, there we are. Up we go. So it's raining. <laughs> We've got to make a mad dash for the uh, buffet. The buffet's through that door just over yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, no, it's just under cover. Oh, it? yeah. It's under cover. Okay. Ready? So we're going to start our day with breakfast in the marketplace buffet. There really is so much to choose from. Um, if you're a sweet tooth like me, lots of pastries and cakes. Although I do just quite like a bit of fruit and yogurt or some muesli. Mark likes um, fry up. Uh, there really is a lot. They'll cook um, eggs on demand, I think, and stuff like that. There's vegetarian, there's vegan, there's continental. Um, yeah, loads, loads to choose from. Eurybia features a 360 foot long Mediterranean style promenade with an LED dome that shows animations throughout the day. There's also a large selection of shops and boutiques on board that are open after departure until midnight and 9.30am till midnight on sea days. <laughs> you is the boss. <laughs> so 
this main indoor promenade and the Eurobia Lounge is the sort of entertainment socialising hub of the ship and this is where you'll find like the trivia and the games and the dance classes and then there's usually always something going on here in the evenings. Mark's having a margarita <laughs> and I'm having a hot chocolate. That's got Baileys in it though. Has it? Yeah. There's Baileys in it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. I thought you went for just a, for, um, a virgin one. No, it's got Baileys. It's got a cherry, look. MSC Eurybia is named after an ancient goddess who harnessed the winds, weather and constellations to master the seas. She has 19 decks, 2,419 cabins. She can take up to 6,327 passengers with a crew of 1,711. So this is in the uh, entertainment section. We've got these, they look, well, they're simulators. You wear the virtual headsets and you're in the bucket seats and the steering wheel. That looks very, very immersive, to be fair. Also, over here, we have the Formula One experience. So there's two cars here, two Formula One car simulators and uh, wow awesome formula racer only on MSC ah now this is the uh, bowling two lane bowling yeah. 10 pin yeah. full length as well wicked that looks good fun air hockey down there this is a great place. So here's a pricing for the amusement. Formula Racer and the XD simulators. Bowling is 30 minute session, 25 euros. And this interactive, the immersive, 10 pound for adults, 11 pound for Formula Racer. But they do do a weekly or a daily package. I think that's quite expensive. kids clubs are so the baby club for under three year olds the mini club for three to six year olds the junior club for seven to eleven year olds she is 331 meters long 43 meters wide and 65 meters high and has a gross tonnage of 183,500 she is the first ship in their Meraviglia plus class to be powered by LNG she cost 770 million euros and was christened by Sophia Loren.
So this is the Sky Lounge. Lovely place, nice and quiet. Play music up here. So the Sky Lounge, this is on deck 18. Nice little place. A lot of people come here at the end of the evening after the shows for one last nightcap. We were here last night listening to a lady sing. So we're going into the gym for a quick look. So the gym is, gym is open from six in the morning till 10 o'clock at night. They also do all of these services, daily activities, stretch, yoga, group cycling with the stationary bikes, and they also do fitness classes and weekly passes, and also personal training sessions, including body composition analysis. Lots of dumbbells, cycling machines, stationary weight machines, and treadmills, very good. So, this is the Infinity Bar. Very nice bar, this one. Busy though, because it's in the foyer, near reception. Always busy. Nice snacks, everything you could want. People have said how in this area here, generally, how there should be more, more places to seat, to sit. There's not enough chairs in this area. We've been on other, other ships like P&O and there's been more chairs in their foyer area than this. It's crying out for more, more seats. So also on deck five, next to reception, is the excursion area where you can book and talk to people about excursions. This is the MSC Foundation. Um, don't know an awful lot about this, but obviously MSC have a foundation where they commit to raising money, donating money, reducing the impact on the environment, mainly. We've had some um, uh, we made some donations on our bill already. I think they take it from you. It's only a few, a few euros, not a lot. And if you don't want to, you can ask for it to, 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 to give it back to you. Save our coral reefs. Talk about making a difference. About towel management in your rooms and water management, etc., etc. So, very good stuff. So this is the Green Orchid restaurant. We've not eaten here, but we're just gonna have a quick look around. Helios winemaker. And this is where they do the, the flights. And there's a TV screen into the, in these tabletops to give you the journey and the information about the wine. It is quite a novel idea. Those who like their wine. Interactive digital wine tables and touchscreen panels. Journey of winemaking provide a wine experience for the next generation of wine lovers through modern, innovative elements telling and sharing the history and story of winemaker. Okay, so we're on deck six, and this is a lovely little bar area. We sat here a few times during the cruise, the Ribia Bar and Lounge. We sat here, they have some games here on the, on the floor some music in the evenings. Again, full bar, coffee, tea, drinks, cocktails. Just look at that stair staircase. They're all like it. 
Swartzky crystals apparently inset into each step. So this is the champagne bar, one of the bars. So we're gonna quickly walk through the casino area because we're up in the port today it's shut at the moment. It opens obviously when you're at sea in the evenings. Got all your usual gambling tables, blackjack, poker, there's also roulette. So we're gonna go into the carousel lounge, but I wanted to show you this sign first. Big band in concert. Now we made our way here almost every night to uh, listen to the big band. It was a live band, orchestra and singers, and they did a fantastic show two or three times every night. And it was busy, busy as you like. People couldn't find any seats. So you get here early and get a seat, very popular. Altogether, MSC Eurybia has 10 dining venues and 21 bars. This is the Delphi Theatre, this is where all the sort of West End shows take place. It's actually quite a small theatre, because of that they have three shows a night. And on this cruise ship you have to pre-book and you have to scan your card as you come in, otherwise they ain't going to let you in. And um, We've heard that on other cruise ships you have to actually pay on um, MSE Virtuoso, you have to pay to go to these shows. This is kind of the VIP area. This is where the Aurea Spa Yacht Club people can go. This little corned off area. The theatre has 945 seats and puts on seven different shows throughout the week. To be or not to be? That is the question. We're off now. Oh, 
Um, I'm gonna have probably a tiger beer for him. Oh, Singapore. No, no, no. We'll have a. Thank you. What do you have today? This is in my life. I think that's soy sauce. Soy sauce? Are you going to use these? Sticks? Yeah. What's that? Beers, eh? Beers. New sticks? White miso soup. Miso. Yeah. No. It's not Heinz. <laughs> you really just say that, it's, it's not, not Heinz. It's not Heinz. I'm going to try it. It's got a bit of bouillon, with a little egg in it. Oh, it's got something in it. Tofu? Tofu. Tofu, yeah. What's the name? I'm not sure about that. Are you, tofu. what are you thinking? Tofu, like kung fu. What is this, salmon? Yeah, the salmon. This one, tuna? Tuna? Wasabi, ginger, spicy manners, your tempura is added and skinny. Where's my big prawn like that? It is I have the Kaisa, oh. Emperor. Oh. Emperor? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're an Emperor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a samurai. Oh yeah, I want to see you eat the tuna. You want to see me eat the tuna? Yeah. It tastes better with sticks. Is that prawn toast? No, it's tuna. Do you want to dip it in the sauce? Yeah. Which one? Yeah, that's the food sauce. Mark doesn't eat fish, he doesn't eat raw fish. Go for it, babe. What do you think of that? I don't know. I like it. I don't know. Oh, bless you. Okay. <laughs>
and the matcha ice cream. It looks like it could be pistachio, but it is um, matcha. Where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to the buffet. Midnight snack. It's midnight and he wants vindaloo and chips. You do? No, I don't. I bet you won't find it. You don't know that? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Got your chips, love? No, no curry. I couldn't find it, curry. Thought we'd just do a quick review of the Kaito Tapanyaki restaurant that we ate in this evening. Yeah. Um, it was 39 euros. Plus. Um, for the samurai um, menu. menu. Mm -hmm. uh, 29 for the geisha. geisha. Mm. And then 59. Did it jump up to 59? 49. Oh, 49 for, for the, the Emperor. Emperor. Mm. Um, we had the Samurai. We didn't realise until the end there was actually a 15% gratuity put on top. So we're a little bit miffed about that because <laughs> um, we paid up front for all our gratuities. But anyway, I Never may mind. or may not take that up with reception. But the food. You can't fault the food. Can't fault it. It was really, really good. And the theatre of watching them cook it on the big grill. That was cool, on the big yeah. hot plate, that was, that was quite fun. Really enjoyed that. Made the time that. go really quick, didn't it? Yeah, and it then, did. And the service was really good. And it was cooked to, well, ours was cooked to perfection. Yeah, there we was had, a couple sat next to us who had the Emperor, mm -hmm. which was scallops and tuna and lobster. Yes. And they couldn't eat their lobster, it was a bit, odd. A bit overcooked. But mm. we had medium to well sirloin steak, and it was, yeah. And prawns, wasn't it, tiger prawns? Yeah, we had tiger prawns and salmon and... I was just bang on. It was... It was, it was, it was so was lush. Said. Lush. I could have had more, to be fair. So I was really pleased with mine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was. So I would... I'd, we'd definitely go there again, wouldn't we? So highly recommend that. Highly recommend that. So if you're on an MSC ship that's got a Kaito Tapanyaki, go. Yeah, it's, by all, go. It. It's well worth it. That's it. We just thought we'd give you a little review and... We, um, we've got another speciality restaurant booked, haven't we? The uh, Hola Tacos. Oh, tacos yeah. Is Cantina. that all you can eat? Yeah, so we'll it's show you that one no. and tell you all the information and price about that one when we go there. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'll catch up with you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, Park's in the bathroom. So I'm just doing breakfast order for his birthday tomorrow that's a little secret and I've ordered loads of stuff it's not it's not like a traditional uh, Christmas traditional breakfast it's just the um, continental so I've got him some toast and coffee and some croissants and yeah you've got to put it outside your room by 2am and um, it's free um, Delivery free will apply to orders placed by Bella Experience Guests. We're a fantastica. So, yeah, so it's free. Otherwise, it would be three euros fifty. I'm going to do that now. I'm surprising for his birthday in the morning. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to you. Love your eyes. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. As a birthday treat, we'd booked into the thermal area, part of the Aurea Spa, for a one hour experience which was free as part of our MSC Voyages Gold membership. There were hot tubs and saunas, etc., but unfortunately, we don't have any photos or video as we didn't take our phones in. So I asked the birthday boy what he really, really wants for lunch on his birthday, and he said, of course, it's birthday. Anyway, we went to the main dining room and it was just awful so we came out and we're now in marketplace which you can hear is really really loud but they got pasties <laughs> and they say they're cornish pasties you didn't get one no Looks like 
it's night time, it's not night time, is it? So what flavour did you go for? Uh, cheesecake. Cheesecake. And I've got Dolce Delecti. Um, it's three euros fifty for one scoop. It's not included in the cruise today. It's pay extra, and I think this pack's on top of that. Can I eat it? <laughs> you can eat it now. So tonight is the gala night, mm -hmm. formal night, celebration night. Um, it's the night when the captain does a presentation. Unfortunately, we can't get in the theatre to see that, but we are going to the main dining room. We've got our glad rags on. <laughs> Mark's birthday. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're going to go and see what's on offer in the main dining room. We've been told baked Alaska mm. might be on offer. The gala dinner menu. Thank you very much. So for Mark's birthday celebration, they have snails <laughs> on the menu. You're going to have snails? We're going to Belgium, not France. <laughs> You'll eat them. We will not. <laughs> Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Love you. <laughs> Watching the big show show. Big band, rock symphonic. Dex, yeah. They're gonna and rock deck, the yeah. night show away. Free. Wow. <laughs> We had a great couple of sea days. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next episode.